there's these times when this country really comes together hard, you know, and really, when we really bond and get behind the same purpose. You know, nobody knew how to act or what was the right thing to do or how we were supposed to respond, and the whole country was really just sort of in shock and uh, couldn't believe that this had happened. Everybody was kind of coming out and commenting on what they were going to do the NFL. I didn't think we were going to wait. You know, I didn't think we were going to put off two, ra two race weekends. Perhaps there is no more appropriate place for the return of NASCAR Winston Cup racing than the state of Delaware. The attitude amongst NASCAR and what you were hearing outside of NASCAR was that we need to be doing what we're doing or what we're supposed to be doing. This isn't going to stop what we do and how we live and how, you know, how we act. Just a lot of patriotism. You know, red, white, and blue. There was a ton of American flags everywhere. All you know, everywhere you turned, there was a a reminder or evidence of what the country had gone through, was going through, what everybody's attitude was about it, and it sort of built up over the weekend. And it was emotional. Like it was heavy. The American and checkered flags out at Dover. Earnhardt Jr. Here we go. wins. Tony Sr. Heck of a job. So we didn't have anything planned. We never talked about it. And everybody had something like that in the pits. You know, I don't know if everybody had a giant flag, but everybody was sort of expressing themselves patriotically in different ways. And we, our guys, had a big giant flag. It, there's only these rare times when no matter where you came from, who you were, what your job was, what your status was, you all were on the same page and you all had the same feeling and attitude. And going back to the racetrack, being at Dover, going through that process, seeing the reaction of the fans, all that was sort of the beginning of things being put back together, you know.